What's up? I'm Alana Turtle, and today we have a Pokemon Mail Day. Uh, so we've been picking up stuff over the past couple months, and one thing I've kind of noticed is it seems like the price of PSA graded cards has kind of gone up. And reason I'm not sure if it has to do with everything going on, stimulus checks or whatever. But either way, maybe the demand, or as a result, the prices have gone up. So. I've kind of changed to let me just finish up some binder collections, pick up some low hanging fruits and we'll just pick up whatever PSA cards we find along the way at a good price. Um, but we're probably going to be focusing on loose cards and instead of kind of showing mail day of whenever we get new stuff, we'll kind of present them as we complete certain collections. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to be hitting a specific collection that first time come around, came around, I really missed it. I wasn't really in the hobby at the time and that is during the heart gold Sil silver area uh, era and the collection we finished for today is the primes so i don't know too much about the the lore i guess behind the primes it doesn't even say the word prime on here uh but i guess you know it's the the silver border with these spike things uh during this time we also had the legends almost done with the legend set but uh still have a couple more cards to pick up so we're just gonna focus on the primes starting with heart gold Sil silver and we got ampharos to begin things off so when you see things in this KMC sleeve, that means the condition's not very good. And then these penny sleeves means that, you know what, this thing could maybe be sent to PSA. You know, it won't fetch a 10, maybe maybe a couple nines, probably mostly like eights. And based on the price it picked up, I was like, all right, well, it could still be worth grading if we could get an eight. Uh, so that's why you have to see different sleeves, but sticking in Heart Gold Soul Servers, then we got Blissey. So when I first saw the Primes, I honestly wasn't a huge fan of it, <laughs> Don fan. But um, then as I kind of continue to look at them, I now I've started to have a higher appreciation for them. They kind of have a CGI look, but I do like how they're very zoomed in on the Pokemon. And one thing that that kind of reminds me of, if you guys remember way back when, there was an N64 game called Pokemon Snap pretty sure it's N64 and it was like so much fun uh one thing about Pokemon is like they can make games I remember like the pinball game was so good Pokemon Snap just so much variety we got Crobat and these cards remind me of that game where it's like oh you have to get the zoomed in the close-up of that Pokemon I feel like these pictures kind of it reminds me of that all right let's focus on these cards Steelix ah Tyranitar always a popular one we got Ursaring, Espeon, and a lot of these we already do have in PSA, uh, so we'll probably be jumping around back and forth, and you know, this one, there's some whitening up there, but I could see this potentially getting an 8. Houndoom, and, but yeah, so because of the price fluctuations recently, uh, our mail days will be kind of all over the place, or specifically we'll have them as we finish some kind of set. Basically working on everything from Jungle First Edition to, eh, probably this is one of the more recent ones that we'll work on. Kind of like the foils is the least important, but we can probably pick those up, you know, through TCG player, Troll and Toad, etc. The prices are surprisingly low. This Gengar was the last card we picked up. On uh, TCG player, I think there's like only one listing at the time of this recording, and it was like $50. Uh, so I did find one on eBay for like uh, just over 10, but the condition's not great. That's why it's in the KMC sleeve sleeve. And that's fine, you know, for a binder collection, it's just for looking at. We won't be looking at the backs anytime. And then we got Magnezone. Oh, I forgot, but I was gonna say, um, I believe it's. Heart Gold Soul Silver base, and then Unleashed, Undaunted, and now we're already at uh, Triumphant. Kind of weird names, and one thing, I guess I'm not fully done, there were three promos, uh, which I don't have, but it's kind of like a reprint, although it does have a different art. So that is the completed Prime collection for Raw cards. Uh, again, it'll take a while before we get the PSA. And then we just have picked up some random things uh, and we'll basically show these off through the mail days as well. Starting with a Expedition Reverse Blastoise. I love this card. I think this is one of the best Blastoise arts. I uh, kind of got that feeling that you're it's a wild Pokemon and it's sneaking up on something kind of like an alligator would. Where most of its body underwater. Next we do have a PSA card apparently from Collector's Cash. And it is a Erica's Vileplume from Gym Heroes, just unlimited, PSA 8, pretty good deal on this. Uh, guys, if you 
kind of like thinking about getting into more vintage cards, original Watsi kind of stuff. Uh, if you step down a couple grades, I think you'll be very surprised at the entry as far as price. Then we have Expedition. Still want to finish the E series, just probably start with getting one of every card. A lot of them will end up being reverses like this one and PSA 8, and then we'll eventually finish the foils, but there's no hurry. Again, especially with, seems like the prices have gone up lately. And then we have, okay, so <laughs> also working on the Legends, both PSA and Raw, but definitely we'll finish the Raw very soon. And then it'll probably be a while before we finish PSA. Pretty cool. This card doesn't really do it justice without its top half. All you see is Ho-Oh's feet, but uh, in case you didn't know, basically it's two cards that create the full picture. Uh, kind of a cool idea. All right, then we have some, let's see. Oh, the Mega Charizard EX. Pretty nice pickup. I actually, this is this is like the secret rare from Flashfire, and this one is pretty good condition. So this is could could be definitely sent off to PSA, and we actually have another one, and um, by GMA. Don't know anything about GMA. It did not cost, not even close to hundred dollars. Uh, actually, no, this is not the secret. So now we have the secret and the uh, regular, and I'm not sure. Maybe at one point, if I become confident in eyeballing a grade that maybe maybe then we would crack this open and send to PSA but I don't mind just keeping it in case in here I feel like one of the big things for PSA for me is or obviously you know the grade but it also protects the card so at least this covers that portion of it so we got both Mega Charizard EXs and then the last one is look at the condition first pretty good pretty good and it is a boom another rainbow rare Charizard from Burning Shadows I picked this up on like buy it now uh, and if you're kind of curious, like, oh, how do you go about setting, you know, how do you find these kind of deals? I'm not going to pretend to be an expert, but I, I will just suggest, you know, basically I create the searches, save them, and then just, you know, buy it now, newly listed. Just check that every once in a while, um, at least on a daily basis. But you kind of have to change it throughout the day just so you can try to pick them up as they, uh, once they enter the market. So I was pretty happy with the price that we got for this. Came with like a Charmander and Charmeleon Shiny, which basically all I was buying is this card. So pretty um, pretty quick mail day and uh, yeah happy to finish these primes we'll go into a binder collection in the near future especially once we finish the legend cards and uh, yeah stay tuned for more mail days going to be completing a lot of binder collections in the near future gotta actually order some binders for them but uh, yeah as always guys thanks for watching thanks for all the support on the channel getting very close to that thousand sub mark I'm a wanna turtle and I'll catch you guys next time